Well, my boat is Nyachilwa. Uh, she was designed by William Fife III in the late 1930s, but built at Fairley, but launched in 1952 after William Fife's death. So you could have a debate about how much of a William Fife yacht it is, um, but I think the boat is probably at least as much, if not more, a Fife yacht now than she's ever been in, a, in her whole life. Um, uh, there was a there were six boats built broadly to this design. The first one was Nyatonga in 1951, then Nyachilwa in 1952. Then I think there was a boat called Niagara, but spelled N-Y-A. Um, then a couple more, and um, I don't know. And then the last one, the sixth one, is a boat called Elad, E-L-L-A-D. Elad featured, there was a big article about the rebuild of Elad in Classic Boat Magazine, I think two or three years ago, I'm not sure exactly. She's owned by a French guy, French dentist. Um, but the first two boats, as far as I can make out, were built to the five drawings and design. After that, the guy who was running the Fairley Yard, Archie, Archie McMillan, um, made changes. He took the coach roof further aft, he took the cockpit further aft. This increased the amount of accommodation below decks. I think it changed the, the balance of, of the boat. So, but as far as I can make out, this is uh, in all meaningful ways as drawn by William Fife. I bought the boat in 2004 when she was in Cockles Harbour in Shelter Island which is on the eastern end of Long Island, New York. Um, and I'd always looked at magazine articles and things about William Fife yachts and it was always a bit of a fantasy. But as far as I was concerned, Fife yachts had always been built for like the super rich. They'd been built for King of Spain and the Queen of Spain and you know millionaires and plutocrats and all that. They were kind of the super yachts of their day. And, uh, but then I found, I realized that there were some smaller boats and they weren't out other than just like six meter racing boats and things like that. There were some smaller sort of cruiser racer boats and this was one of them. So when I saw the boat for sale, I actually, um, I bought the boat over the phone. I paid a deposit on my visa card. <laughs> and um, at the time I was traveling quite a lot to the United States. And so I went to see her fairly quickly after that but I was kind of smitten so I bought the boat and um, we had her shipped to the UK uh, and I, I visited several boat builders and yards um, to talk about who would do what I thought were a few repairs I knew the boat needed a few repairs and uh, eventually he by recommendation I found Simon Grillet who's based in Faversham and we took the boat to Faversham and she was re rebuilt 2005 to 2007 because it turned out to be a rebuild there's a there's a lot of new uh, the boat was completely taken apart it's been completely refastened a lot of planking was replaced splines were all replaced the boat spline below the waterline that was re uh, sorry splined above the waterline that was done um, the most of the deck framing a lot of the deck framing is new the deck is new um, the cockpit framing is new, the cockpit floor is new, um, quite a lot of the hull framing was replaced or heavily repaired, every single fastening in the boat was replaced so effectively uh, it's a new boat. Lots of the boat is original so um, most of the backbone with the exception of the stems is original, the coat roof is original, um, the cockpit itself is original, the interior is original, the rudder is original, the rig is original. But, you know, the boat's 60 something years old, so you can't expect it all to be as new. So that's my boat. And um, so I've owned her since 2004, I've been sailing her since 2007. Uh, I'm semi retired now, so hopefully I'm sailing her a, a lot more. But I feel lucky to have a boat like this, and, um, you know, count, you've got to count your blessings. Uh, I don't think I'm anywhere near sailing her as well as it, it could be done. I'm, I'm, it's interesting to come to this event because this is the third year we've been here. And what I, what I think I'm noticing is that actually the, the, the field has gone down a little bit. The first year there were 80 boats, last year there were 60, this year it's 50 something, you probably know better than me. Um, but the level of, sort of prof it's not professionalism, but like professionalisation goes up each year. So very few boats here with um, Dacron sails. Most of them have got crispy, crunchy, high-tech sails. I'm, I reckon I'm the only boat here without a kicker. I'm the only boat here without a main sheet track. I'm the only boat here without adjustable backstays uh, or adjustable outhauls. 
Yeah, this is a pretty simple boat, Actually, a very simple boat in, in, in lots of ways. Um, so we don't do all that well in the racing, but we have a great time. Um, so I'm, I, yeah, I'm still learning the boat. I think I'm going to, in some ways, when, when we had a rebuild, I, I, maybe I went a little bit too far down the sort of cruisy road, so I've got a, a little heater which I think I've used you know, half a dozen times in ten years. Um, and essentially, I think five yachts, certainly the small ones, they're all about minimalism and simplicity and, um, and I didn't do too badly. I would do some things a little bit differently, but not too bad. I particularly like the back end of the boat, that was what really sold it to me. I do, I'm very fond of uh, double enders and I think the canoe stern on this boat is one of the best. Brian? Yes baby? Yes Jenny? I've saved a rum cocktail for you. I'll be there as quick as I can. 